Good afternoon, I am Dr. Ravishita Agarwal and today in this case we will be looking into identification of skin lesions in patients of scleroderma. So now when we look at the face in a zoom out view, we look at the face of scleroderma which shows almost expressionless or decreased expression typically known as mask like faces or mask of faces. Now when we zoom in and we look at the forehead, we look at some dotted appearance over the forehead. What you see here is hypopigmentation and in between there are various pinpoint areas of hyperpigmentation. This is called as salt pepper appearance of the skin, very typical of scleroderma patients. This hyperpigmentation is perifollicular, that means around the hair follicles probably because of increased number of capillaries around the hair follicles. When we come to the forehead, we look at the creases on the forehead, the wrinkles over the forehead. We see decreased amount of wrinkles all over the forehead, signifying skin fibrosis. When we come to the nose, we see the nose is pinched out and the nasal alars are very much regressed. Although the nasolabial fold is prominent here, but still both these features suggest skin fibrosis. When we come to the perioral area around the face, around the mouth, we see there is some amount of regression or retraction of the upper lip, also known as microchilia. When we look at the mouth opening, we see that the mouth opening is substantially decreased known as microstomia. All these features suggest perioral fibrosis. Now moving from the face when we come towards the hands of the patients in scleroderma. We see that the hands show clawing of hand that is claw like appearance because of increased skin fibrosis. On the dorsum of the hand we see there is loss of skin creases over the PIP and DIP joints. There are also areas of residual ulcerations or consequence of ulcerations. When we turn the hand, we see there are loss of terminal phalanx in few digits in both the hands. This is called acral osteolysis a complication of vasculopathy associated with scleroderma. On the palmar side, we also see remnants of old digital ulcers called as digital pits or digital scars. On this hand, we can also see some amount of Raynaud's phenomenon, very typical of scleroderma patients. When we go beyond the hand, we look at the same salt and pepper appearance all over the forearm of the patient, similarly in this hand. And vast amount of skin thickness all over the arms, the forearms as well as the arms. The severity of this skin thickness will be evaluated in the next video. Similar kind of skin thickness can be seen all over the anterior chest with salt paper appearance. On the abdomen, what we see here is diffuse hyperpigmentation all over the abdomen. Coming to the legs, in the foot, we see similar skin tightening all over the foot as well as legs. In the right foot, just above the third toe, we see a ulcer, a digital ulcer that is there over the third toe. And coming up from the foot, when we look at the legs, the knees and the lower thigh, we see the same skin thickness due to extensive skin fibrosis as well as salt paper appearance over the knees 
also. So this is a short video showing different clinical or what I would say cutaneous features in a patient of systemic sclerosis. In this video, we will be assessing the severity of skin involvement in a patient of systemic sclerosis by modified Rodman skin score. The modified Rodman skin score or MRSS scoring starts from the hands. This scoring involves two kinds of methods. First is pinching the skin by index finger and the thumb and looking for skin elevation. The second can be done by using both the thumbs and pinching the skin in the similar fashion. We will use the first method in this demonstration. In this demonstration, we will look into 17 areas of the body and we will go, them, go through them one by one. The first is the hands. When we look at this skin, we see that we are unable to lift the skin at all. This gives it the highest grading that is grade 3. When we come above, once again, the skin cannot be lifted up, giving it a grade of 3. When we go to the forearms, we see that we are able to lift the skin, but we are not able to pinch it or approximate our fingers. So we will grade it as 2. The total score till now is 8. In the arms, we once again see that we can pinch the skin, but we cannot approximate our fingers. So once again, the grade of 2. In the left, in similar fashion, when we pinch the skin over fingers, we cannot lift the skin. So the grade is 3. When we pinch here, once again, we cannot lift the skin, once again giving it a grade of 3. So the total grade till now is 10 plus 6, 16. Moving ahead, in the arms, we can see that we can lift the skin gently, but we cannot approximate it. So giving it a grade of 2. The total score is now 18. On the face, we see that we can lift the skin easily and we can also approximate the skin. So the grade is 1. In the anterior chest, once again, we can lift the skin easily and we can also approximate it. Once again, a grade of 1. The total score is now 18. In the abdomen, we pinch the, try to pinch the skin, but the skin is barely liftable. So the grade is 3. Total score now is 21. In the lower limb, when we pinch the skin, it's hardly pinchable. We cannot even raise it, even a slightest. So on both the surface, the grade is 3. So the total grade of 6 and the score now becomes 27. In the leg, the skin once again cannot be pinched at all in both the legs, giving it a grade of 3 in each leg. The score now becomes 33. Now lastly, in the thighs, when we try to pinch it, we can barely lift the skin. Once again, in both the thighs, each receive a grade of 3. The score now becomes 39. So this way, we can say that out of 51, the patient's score is 39 which indicates a severe involvement of skin in this patient of sclerosis. Thank you.